Amazon Web Services is the world's most comprehensive and broadly adopted cloud platform. It offers more than 175 fully featured services from data centers globally and is also one of the leading cloud service providers in the cloud infrastructure market. Various organizations across the globe have adopted AWS services, which includes the largest enterprises, fastest growing startups, and leading government agencies. This actually leads to countless job opportunities for a skilled AWS professional. So if you're interested in starting a career in AWS, I'm here to help you. Hello everyone, this is Aman from Edureka with a whole new session on how to learn AWS. But before we get started, let us quickly go through today's agenda. So today we'll be addressing some advantages of learning AWS, followed by who can learn AWS. Then we'll move on to the main topic for today and understand how can you start learning AWS from scratch. Then we'll also see what is the average time taken to learn AWS. And we'll conclude the session by knowing what are the different job roles offered in AWS. And guys, if you like our video, do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to never miss an update from the Edureka channel. Also, if you're looking for an online training certification in AWS, check out the link given in the description box below. Moving on to the first topic, why should you learn AWS? The first reason is because of AWS growth. AWS was officially launched in 2006, and by 2015, AWS revenue was already $7.8 billion. And since then, the revenue is growing at an exponential rate. The infographic here shows the growth of AWS from 2013 to 2019, and you can see the numbers are increasing every year. The reason for this growth is various organizations adopting AWS services, be it startup like Airbnb, Mapbox, or top companies like Netflix and Facebook, all are using AWS services and products. And in the coming years, many more companies will move their operation to the cloud infrastructure. So AWS will never be out of trend. The next reason you should be learning AWS is because AWS skills are in demand. As I've mentioned before, many companies are looking for individuals with good AWS knowledge, those who can work with various AWS services and products. And according to a recent study by Indeed, the number one in-demand skill of 2020 was cloud computing. And Amazon Web Services has 33% of the total cloud market share, which makes AWS skills as one of the in-demand skills as well. The next reason you should be learning AWS is because AWS offers a high range of salary. According to a study by Glassdoor, the average salary for an AWS professional in India starts from 6 lakhs and could reach up to 15 lakhs depending on the company and the place. According to another study by Payscale, an AWS skilled professional on an average earns 9 lakhs 50,000 per annum. In the US, the average salary for an AWS solution architect is $121,000 per annum. These were just some of the examples of AWS professional salary. Now let us move on to the next reason to learn AWS, and it was because AWS is constantly enhancing, which means Amazon is constantly working on adding new features and services, and along with this, they're also improvising the previous services. This will give you exposure to various tools and technologies like Kubernetes, VMware, SageMaker, and many more. You will learn various new tools and technologies while you're learning AWS, and all this will be very helpful during your AWS interviews. These were just some of the reasons to learn AWS. Now let us move on to the next topic for today and see who can learn AWS. Well, the answer is very simple. Anyone can learn AWS. Even if you are from a non-IT background, you can still learn AWS. But there's certain concepts you need to learn before you start your journey in AWS. Firstly, you should have basic knowledge of operating systems and preferably Linux operating system. If you're wondering why Linux, it is because Linux operating system can be used by most organizations that work with scalable environment and web applications. And Linux is also a popular choice for working on the AWS platform. And the best way to learn Linux is by using it. For some help, you can refer some online documentation or watch some YouTube videos. Second, you should have some knowledge about virtualization. Virtualization is a technique to run virtual machines within a single physical machine, and it becomes very important if you're working with compute services in AWS, like EC2, Beanstall, LightSail, Lambda, and so on. And finally, one of the most important topics you should learn before you start learning AWS is networking. Networking is important because all operation in the cloud platform involves it. You can start learning networking by understanding how IP addresses work, what is the difference between a public and a private network, and about virtual private cloud. And if your goal is to become an AWS cloud developer, 
having knowledge of at least one high level programming language can be very helpful. Now that we have seen who can learn AWS, let us move on to the main topic for today and see how can you start learning AWS. The first step is understanding the basics of cloud computing. Before you start learning AWS, I advise you to start learning cloud computing and its various models. You can start learning cloud computing by understanding its models from a technical and business point of view. Then you can move on and learn about the different deployment models in cloud such as public cloud, private and the hybrid cloud. Then you can also learn what are the different service models in cloud such as infrastructure as a service, platform as a service and software as a service. Learning about cloud computing will help you understand AWS services better. The second step in learning AWS is learning the core AWS services. There are certain domains such as compute, storage, networking, database and security which are the important domains of any cloud service providers. And core AWS services are some of the important and frequently used services from these domain. So when you learn about these core services, the other services in that domain becomes very easier for you to understand. Now let us take a look at some of the core AWS services. First, we have Elastic Compute Cloud or EC2. This service is used to run virtual machines on your main computer. Next, we have AWS Simple Storage Service or S3. This service can be used to store and retrieve data in the AWS platform. Next, we have AWS Elastic Block Storage or EBS. This service provides block level storage volumes which can be used with Elastic Compute Cloud. Next, we have AWS Virtual Private Cloud or VPC. This service allows you to create a virtual network in the cloud. The next service is Relational Database Service or RDS. This service can be used to create and operate on relational databases in the cloud platform. The next service is AWS Route 53. This service can be used to route end users to internet applications by translating names into numerical IP addresses. These were just some of the core AWS services. There are over 175 AWS services and you cannot learn all of them in the starting. So I would advise you to start learning AWS by understanding this core AWS services. The next step in learning AWS is practicing what you've learned using the AWS Free Tire. As the name suggests, AWS Free Tire allows you to explore more than 85 AWS services for free. You can work on various services like EC2, Beanstall, S3, RDS and many more. For example, you can launch an instance which is a virtual machine using EC2 or even deploy an application using AWS Beanstall. You can practically implement everything you've learned in the previous step when you start practicing all these services, I can assure you, you'll have a better understanding about them. The next step of learning AWS is practicing what you've learned by working on projects. You can work on your own project ideas or even try demo projects which are easily available on the internet. This is not a mandatory step, but working on projects will help you boost your confidence and can also be added on your resume. I would suggest you to check out Amazon Web Services official website for some demo projects. These were some of the steps to learn AWS and if you want to learn in detail about AWS, you can watch our full course video on AWS or even opt for any online training which is easily available on the internet. Now that you know how you can start learning AWS, let us move on to the next topic and see what is the time taken to learn AWS. Well, it depends on the individual, but here I'm going to talk about the average time it might take. So if you can invest 10 hours a week, then approximately it would take you four weeks for learning the basics of cloud computing, virtualization and networking. Then maybe four more weeks for learning the core AWS services, four weeks for hands on practice using AWS free tire and the project time might vary depending on the project you choose. And again, this is just a rough estimate. Different individuals might take different time. Now let us move on to the last topic for today and see what are the different job roles in AWS. In today's session, I'll be talking about some of the highest paying job roles in AWS. The first one is AWS Cloud Architect. An AWS Cloud Architect is responsible for designing complex cloud infrastructure. The job is to gather specification and requirements from clients and use them to design a solution using AWS platform. The solution they design should be secure and efficient. They must also determine the upcoming risk and have to find optimal solution for them. The job also includes helping businesses migrate to the cloud using AWS products. And if your goal is to become an AWS cloud architect, you're expected to have good knowledge of at least one of the operating systems. And along with that, you should also have good understanding in networking and should be able to program in at least one of the programming languages. 
The next job role in AWS is an AWS cloud developer An AWS cloud developer creates application and services that are powered by AWS and are also deployed on the AWS platform. This could include developing anything from infrastructure and software applications to containers operating systems and system management tools. And if your goal is to become an AWS cloud developer, you should have in-depth knowledge of at least one high level programming language. And along with that, you should also have good knowledge about the commonly used AWS products like EC2, RDS and Lambda. You should also be familiar working with any one of the operating systems. The next job role in AWS is AWS SysOps Administrator. An AWS SysOps Administrator is responsible for the management and maintenance of an organization's AWS infrastructure. The job is to configure the new system and deploy an application in a productive environment. They must also monitor the billing of several strategies for cost optimization. They should create backup and also manage disaster recovery. An AWS SysOps Administrator should have good knowledge of cloud metrics and dashboards for reporting purposes. The next job role in AWS is AWS DevOps Engineer. An AWS DevOps Engineer is the one who not only has expertise in development, but is also experienced in the operational part. They should have good hands-on experience in the AWS platform and should also be familiar working with different DevOps tools. The job is to manage the creation, release, and configuration of the production systems. They also have to handle the deployment, management, and maintenance of the AWS production system. These were just some of the highest paying job roles in AWS. With this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope it was helpful. Happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning.